Hello and welcome, or welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Georgie from Healing Moons, and today we're going to be talking about Ostara, which is also the spring equinox. This particular Sabbat takes place mid-March and is the second of three spring festivals and celebrations, and it's considered one of fertility as well. So this is a time where you would be decorating coloured eggs. Um, it's also a time of bringing in flowers and bouquets of flowers. Um, the colours of this particular Sabbath are green, lemon yellow and pale pink, um, which is traditional for this holiday. Also, this is the time that if you were going to be, if you're a woman, it would be a time to get a new broom. And if you're a man, then you could get a new staff, depending on, this doesn't have to be the traditional man or woman. It could be based on the, the energies that you associate with, um, regardless of your sexual orientation. And you can use, um, if you are, getting a, a new broom or a new staff you can also do a naming ceremony as part of your ritual when you're doing your um, Ostara ritual and the the naming ceremony is that you you give it a name as you would a familiar because you're working with it um, if say for a broom then you would be using the broom to cleanse your, your sacred space and circle when you're doing your work throughout the coming year. Um, so it's kind of a, a bonding process and making that, that sacred tool yours and part of your own energy and, and workings that you do to, to make it more personalized and which will increase the, the, the energy and how it embodies your energy and melds with you to, to add power to what it is that you're doing. It's also a time for blessing seeds for planting later. And if you are decorating eggs, um, it doesn't have to, they can either be hard boiled or you can blow the, the contents out first um, by making a small hole in each end and then literally blowing the contents out gently. Um, but if you're painting them and decorating them, you can then use them to put on your altar as well. Traditional foods at this time would include twisted bread and sweet cake, um, which can be prepared and served at dusk. Or if you're a morning person, you can also prepare a family breakfast um, that coincides with sunrise. Sun, sunrise sorry, on that particular day. This is also a celebration of balance because the night and day are of equal lengths at this time. So it, it celebrates the, the balance between the light and the dark. So this can be between light worker and shadow work. And this can also be between divine masculine and divine feminine. It's all about balancing those energies and not only is in a, an external way, but also if you want to do inner work around this time, then it can be about balancing those aspects within yourself as well. So there's something that you can look at now and kind of work with and, and do your own inner work, shadow work, things like that, and and review your life in, in how you're, you're living it. So is there enough balance between your work and play and things like that? Like is there, is there balance in your life? And if not, then how can you bring that in and give yourself a more balanced, balanced life, balanced outlook? And so these times can be used for reflection. They're not 
to, to me personally, they're not just about celebrating the change in seasons and that they are on, about honouring nature and how we interconnect with the planet as a whole and nature, but it's also an opportunity for us to reflect on our own inner work and our own journey and where we are in in life and what we're working towards our soul growth and journey and we can use these points in the season to reflect on on our on ourselves and our journey as i say as well it's not just not just something that's more external from us so we can bring those elements in to, to our own work as well so with this in mind and that it's it's a fertility festival as well obviously you can do your inner work using your tarot cards runes any form of divination to to reflect on your shadow aspect and looking at what it is that you need to be able to bring that balance into your life if you don't have it already so whether you need to bring in more self-care more time to play those sorts of things what is it about your life that that you would like to change and and bring more of in because of it being a fertility festival it's to me Ostar is very much about what we want to birth and what we want to create in our lives so because of it being a, a fertility festival so if those things that you're lacking you can treat those as things that are not lacking that sounds like a terrible way of putting it but the the things that could be worked on and improved and that you would like more of you can use it as an opportunity to to focus on bringing those into fruition and also at the time of recording we're just coming up to a, a full moon full moon i think will be the day after this goes up um, for for march <clears throat> so this coincides with the phase of the moon that we're in at the time that this goes up um, because the lead up to the full moon is also all about reviewing and kind of it's it's where we're being tested as to whether that's what we actually want and and to kind of get clear and take all of those action steps and things like that so it coincides really nicely with um the, the theme of ostara and <clears throat> sort of just having a, a bit of a review and seeing whether there is something that you'd like to bring in and if there is if you can identify those it doesn't matter how big or small they are but if you then write that on a piece of paper at the top and then as you work your way down the paper write what the next step down would be so the idea is that when you get to the bottom you have a pyramid it doesn't matter how long the list is how big the goal is um, but that you then have these smaller steps of things that you need to do and then on you can do it so that there's two columns so in the first column you would put what it is that you want to achieve and break it down and then on the the other column um, so the second column you would then write down the action steps or things that you need to do to make that possible and then you can focus on taking those action steps to help co-create with the universe of what it is that you're bringing in for this particular um, time of year in this fertility festival um, because that's the whole theme of it um, but then it gives you an action step so that you can you can be taking aligned action with what it is that you want to be bringing in 
at the same time and the energies are there around this time um, particularly with Ostara to to bring that into fruition and you're working with the the seasons in a similar way to what you would if you're working with the moon but this is on a a larger scale so that you're doing this as a slower thing throughout the year rather than a monthly one and you can do both so that they coincide with each other and work on different aspects as well um, but it's just something to to be aware of and to take note of as you're working with the seasons throughout the year because if you do that with every every sabbath and and equinox and everything every celebration that marks a change in season and as we're going around that that wheel of the year you'll hit on different areas of life as you go through and same as if you're working with the different houses within the zodiac signs as well um, each month will be significant as to which house it's in for you depending on your zodiac sign and you can use all of this in conjunction with each other to to work on different aspects of your life throughout the year so once you've done a full year circle or turn of the year you'll then have worked on every aspect of your life to help bring it into a more true alignment with who you are I'd like to take the opportunity to thank you for joining me and if you've made it to the end I appreciate you so much and I'd like to take this chance to wish you a amazing Ostara or Spring Equinox however you name it and until next time, love and light. Take care. Bye. Is this your delivery, baby? Is it? <laughs> Mind your face. Mind your face. Wow, look at that. How good is delivery day? Me? Yeah, there's your meds in there. It's all empty now. Wow, is that good? Yeah? I bet delivery day. Meds and treats. What more could a little boy want? Hmm?